Well, hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974, back at you with another episode of our Kerbal Space Program Kerbalism Let's Play. Last episode, we got to Duna, and we also have another probe on the way to... Let's take a looky. On the way to Eve here, we got an Eve encounter in 106 days, but I thought quickly in this episode, we can earn ourselves some more... Um, some more good good stuff and the way we can do that is to get an encounter with Ike so let's set the target here and uh, so this is where things can get kinda kooky what I could do is I can get the AP back up let me uh let's uh let's get away from Duna a little bit here and let's see we should have plenty of uh, Delta V to do this so it shouldn't be a bad thing. Let's see. And I will go prograde here. We are at a kind of a funky little uh, funky dory uh, polar orbit here so it could put a, a little bit of a hinder on us doing this. And one thing I do want to make sure is that if I do this we don't use up too much of my delta v here that's not what i wanted to do i could do it polarly polarly is that even a word i don't even know that is not what i wanted to do okay I'm trying to figure out the right combination here we can go that way or we can go that way so now we would be on a wow that's uh what do we got for nine seven nine sixty six this could be this could be a problem. I, I believe this thing had 3,000, but I don't know how accurate that was. But what the heck, we'll try it anyway. So we got 14 minutes. What do we got to lose, right? Four minutes. It says it's gonna be one minute and 35 seconds. That's usually off, but we'll find out. Oh, I actually went over it. Yeah, all right, we can, we can just do it now. It's not a big deal. Kind of checking this out. Doing our turn, yeah, we should be all set. So we're gonna we're gonna lose up. We're gonna use up a good portion of our delta V doing this, but it shouldn't be too bad. Just get some time compression here. We'll lose up almost half of it. So I think I don't think the delta V was very accurate on what it said that we had there. But hey, who knows? When we actually built the vessel, but then again, maybe it was. I don't know. Let's see what we're at here. Oh, oh, I guess I should have paid attention to that. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's all right. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Let's do this again here. And we almost have an encounter. <laughs> Holy moly, okay. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see if I can manage to do this somehow. Uh, probably not. I could slide it. I could slide it. Yep, there we go. There's our counter. How much is that going to cost us? Another 754. Let me let me bring that back a little bit cuz I did I did kind of lose it a little bit. There we go. No, no. I must be off of the circular plane here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll get the encounter. We can definitely get some science with it. I don't know how close we'll actually be when uh, things go down, but yeah, that was a. Uh, I kind of messed up because I, I I originally missed the the actual um, encounter. So let's see. We got 53 seconds. I could probably do this at. Oh, I don't know. We'll try it at. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's close enough. <laughs> I said that last time, and look what ended up happening. Happening. Alright. Let's get the time compression going again. Instead, we're not doing all that bad, though. It looks like we're going to be almost right on. We're actually there. And you know what? Look at that periapsis. It's actually better. Or is it? 719, yeah, we'll do that. 
All right, so we got our counter. I do want to get into orbit, so we'll try that too. I don't know how much juice we have left, but we'll find out here in a second. There we go. Uh, let me look at my... Ooh, so I might just have enough to get into orbit. And move it to periapsis. And we can close this down. Oh yeah, that's plenty. And I can do kind of... I can get close. That's 44. That's 3. We definitely don't want to get too close though. 12. 21. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so... Let me get that on there. You know, you guys can't, you know, if, if your original mission is done and you can get some more life out of your, uh, out of your rockets, then, you know, you should go for it. Don't be afraid to, uh, this rocket, normally if it, if, um, I would have launched this rocket, I w it would just sit in space and do nothing other than maybe, uh, be a nice communication satellite, but it can do that from, uh, from orbit of this too. So it's not, you know, it's not going to not gonna kill us oh crap <laughs> that might kill us though how in the world did I end up doing that all right I'm completely lost what did I do did I not okay I'm not paying attention I'm not paying attention all right there we go I want to get close because I want to get I want to get a high orbit one so we can start doing all these uh, radio plasmas again which is 30 we'll send that this time I'll make sure I do it kind of right this time uh, log ionization which we always get quite a bit for that one we will log iridi iridian scan iridian scan which is 50 and pressure do that. Radiation. We'll send that. And we'll send the temperature, which we'll send that. I think that was everything, right? Yeah, I do believe so. And so there is the moon. Well, it's not the moon. It's, uh, what is this called? I forgot. Ike. It's called Ike. So now we'll get a low orbit one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't think about that. So now we definitely, definitely do not have, we definitely cannot control this vessel right now because we just lost line of sight with Kerbin. See how I lost sight? So I can't even do, I can't do any of these, I don't think. Nope. So, ooh, that could, that could put a damper on us here. Let me, I might have to, well, there we go. Maybe now I can do it. Just got back in the, back in the line of sight here. Uh, can we do, what do we, log, uh, radio, near, so that's definitely that, so we can send that, and there we go, this should not work, right, because we're too close now, uh, pressure, we can do that, and radiation, we can send that, and where is that one? We can log temperature. We can send that. So let me actually check to make sure everything was sent here. We got 3.7 gigabytes. I did forget two of them. So that's all the information that we have to send out back to Kerbin, which is a lot of good information. So let's uh, let's get into a little bit more of a sunny spot here where I can see what's going on. We could take a look at Ike from this point of view and there's Duna over there oh I like it it looks kind of blurry though doesn't it that's I th these are default graphics unfortunately so um, I don't have any of uh, the, uh, the enhancements of any of these things so it is what it is so there we go so let's move on now to we'll go back to the map view here and I just I went to the map view and I I went out of the map view. I can actually go like this and just jump to the, ex the next ship. So we're on, we want to get to Eve now. 
So this is our other satellite. It's an exact copy of the, the one that went to Duna, other than the fact that we actually did upgrade a few of our stuff and made them a little bit, um, a little bit better than what we originally had. Let me get this thing to make sure it's in the sun. So there we go. And so we're just going to do some time compression here. Yeah, get this going. This shouldn't take all that long. Oh, is this making everybody sick? <laughs> Why are we going in a circle? I don't understand. That's that's just weird. I don't I don't get that. Okay. And w what? Oh, okay. I'm like I was a little bit lost there because I was like, wait, that's weird. So we have 41 days. 22, 21, 29, 7, 6. There we go. And almost there. I'm just going to kill this right now for I can just kind of fast forward it. So there we go. We are now in a somewhat stable orbit, but not really. That we're not even in an orbit. I don't even know why I said that. That was not very smart. So this could be a problem because that felt like it was a lot of delta V, but it was. How close can we get here? We want to get to. That's okay. We'll do that. So. Go like this, and like that, five. So the general rule of space or any kind of space travel is that the farther you, the farther away from, um, the farther away you are from the adjustment that you want to make. So the adjustment we're making now, if I would have done this um, a lot earlier and a long time ago, like it would have been a lot less delta V. Uh, the problem is that it's very hard in Kerbal Space Program to do these with the, the way that the everything's set up. And I've, I mean, I could sit there and um, try to do it, but it's not going to work out. And I'm actually going to wait until we get a little bit closer before I can actually do this waypoint here a little bit better than I did the one on Duna. Uh, Add maneuver. Blah, 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 blah. Did you all get that? Because I just didn't get that. I I spoke. I I basically spoke. So do so. Uh, Eve, you don't generally want to go below a hundred. I forgot what the actual. Um, the Eve's atmosphere is a lot higher than even Kerbin's. So I generally shoot for like a hundred and four or something like that, just for I'm not risking losing anything. And uh, Eve does have a moon. It's called Gilly, and it's actually not hard to travel around Gilly, but it's hard to get to Gilly from Eve. And if we can do it, we'll try. But um, we might have to wait until next episode to do that. So if you guys see the delta V that this is going to cost me, obviously we're going to lose that big stage, and we're going to we're going to use a lot of our um, stage from the first one so I don't think we're gonna have much Delta V left after all this is done so we actually I have to go and lose this stage is that actually gone oh no we lost we lost comms I lost comms oh no I wasn't thinking about that where is where is it I can still I can still kinda fix this but it's gonna cost us a lot more oh no I'm trying to find Kerbin. We should, I should pop out. We should get a, oh, this is bad. I should have got the sign. Oh, there we are. Okay, so, phew. All right, so now I'm gonna hit this. What, this is gonna be a terrible, 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 terrible um, thing. We lost that. So let me, uh... ow. This thing is not, it's all, I hate when it does this. All right. And we're just gonna kind of fly. So I obviously missed that low point, so we will get in orbit. I mean, I'm not worried about that, but I need to get into an, a low enough orbit before we can get both the high orbit and the low orbit science from Eve, so that's a problem. So there we go. And we're good there. Yeah, we'll be good. I'm just going to bring this down 
enough. All right, so I'm actually going to cut it right there. Most of you probably figure out why, because I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to grab... I, I keep going over it, because I'm trying to get everything done in a reasonable amount of time. And what I'm going to do is... So the problem is that if I do it this way, I might actually lose communications this close, like we did before. So I don't know how well this is going to work. So this is this is the thing I like about the communications. This is what I was actually expecting to happen when uh, we left uh, Kerbin and we weren't supposed to be able to communicate back to Kerbin. But I guess I guess the ground stations count as a relay of the your highest your highest relay. So yeah, I, I'm a little disappointed in that it, it works that way. I'm a little disappointed that all this time I haven't realized it because I've always just put I've always just put the satellites in space. And, well, I guess um, I was wrong. So let's get some science now. And do our thing. Open these all up. We'll send that. It's about the same science that we got from uh, the other one. Yeah, 125. That was the same one. I don't even have this one open. Didn't really need it, but uh, log your radiation scan. Yep. And we'll send that, and we can do pressure data, yep. And we can do this, we can send that. And where is that one? And log temperature, we can send that. So, there you guys go, there you guys go, that's Eve. That's Eve with the clouds and the new clouds and all that stuff. So let's find out if we actually, I don't actually think we're going to get a, com a calm here. We could actually wait a little bit too until... Uh, Till, actually, actually, oh no, no, no! If I do it now, I can get it. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lose it. Let's see. Uh, log. We are. Yeah. Okay. So we'll send that. Nope. I just lost it. Darn it! <laughs> I wasn't quick enough. So we're not gonna get that back until we are way too far out. Yeah, it'll be right about here, and I still think that's now it's too far away. We're not, we're not. We're, this might count as away. I'm not 100% sure. Sorry. Yep. See, this counts as high over Eve where we are right now, so that ain't gonna do us any good, huh? Hmm. I think the only thing I can do right now is to give us a little bit of time, because Kerbin is right there. About 102. I could. No, that that'll cost me. What do I got left on here? Yeah. See, we don't have a whole lot of delta v left, and I don't really want to use it all up. And we can't use it at the lowest point. So, are we sending everything? I got 1.57 gigabytes. Yeah, everything's going. You know what? Let's just do some time compression here, and see how how this turns out. Kind of hoping that. Let me get. Let me actually get this into a position because doing it this way will be. I'll, let me. I'll be right back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some time compression. I'm gonna get for uh, Eve is facing curve in a little bit on that periapsis. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. I got us a little bit closer. I didn't want to go too far because I do have other plans that we need to do. Let me see if I'm close now to do. Yeah. So that we're definitely in low orbit now. I did this one right. Scan. So we should be able to do this one. Already did it. All right. Did I do this? Nope. So we'll transmit that. And I'm having it's dark, so it's hard to actually see this. Did I do the the magnometer? Nope. So we'll send that. I actually think you have to do the magnometer twice because it doesn't send all of the information at once. And log the reiteration. All right. We'll send that. And I will log temperature with that. I think I got everything right. I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that. Did I get the radiation? I don't know. We'll find out. There we go. So there we go. We got all of the science from Eve. So let's kind of go back into the Space Center here. Look at all our science we got. Actually, we have to wait because we have to transmit it all, technically. So right now I have 1773, which is pretty f pretty awesome. So let's get the rest. Oh, actually, before we do that, 
let's actually set up our next missions here. So I'll get the alarm clock going. And we are going to be going to transfer window. I want to go from uh, Kerbin. Mohu is one of them. So we're going to set that up. We're 100, 100 and something days away from that. I uh, will do another transfer window from Kerbin to uh, Drez. We'll add that one. We are 224 days. And I'm also going to add. Uh, Jewel. No, that's not right. Kerbin. This will be Jewel. We're 422 days out from that. So it looks like our next our next mission will be Mohu, Mohu, and then we'll do Drez, and then we'll do Jewel. We're gonna have to do some modifications to our uh, our stuff here because a lot of these take a lot more Delta V than uh, what. Uh, why can't I speak? Eve and Duna cost us, so we'll have to do some a little bit of modifications to our launcher to uh, get a, a little bit more Delta V out of it. And what I want to do is I want to get all of our... See the checksum is correct and it must be valid. Oh yeah, so we have to get it all. So I'm just going to give it a few days. We're getting all this data. Temperature from temperature scan. So it's just sending us everything that we can. I'm already at another coronal mass ejection has happened. So I think so it's going to hit us. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We have nothing in orbit. I think we have all of our science. So that's awesome. So we have a. So just going to the orbits of Duna and Eve. We have a massive amount of science now, which is makes me very happy. So let's do some, let's do some buying here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy up everything else that we have in this category. Uh, categorically, we're not going to we're not going to skip anything because eventually we'll need it. Uh, it will it will cost us some, but that's okay. So now I can kind of pick and choose some of these more expensive $300 ones. And we have the hydrogen tanks here. We have the monopropellant. <sighs> I, I still have to upgrade to get these. That means we'll have to start doing contracts again to get money. And actually, I'm at 14 million. We will upgrade something too before I leave here. I know I'm talking a lot. I'm just trying to get everything figured out here. There's a docking module that's for space stations. I'm just kind of looking through all this. Uh, the 3.75 millimeter shell, we want that. So I'm going to grab that just off the bat. I'm not gonna even bet it. We're not gonna get into planes right now. I don't even know if I'll get into planes at all, but we'll see. We'll see what you guys want out of that. That that's a nice thing to do, but we're not gonna do any man landings that we need any of that. Uh, we got some more. This will get us some more science, and we can start doing rovers. So I'm gonna grab that. So I can basically grab one more, and this is a nice. I think this is a two-man pod, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to grab that. Uh, let's see. We got the Sentinel infrared telescope. We got we can start doing surface scanning for. Um, I'm almost thinking we should grab this, but let me still look around. We got the seismic. We got the seismic pod. We can do crashes on the ground with that. Mm, we do have some of this. Ah, it's such a, it's such a hard thing. We do have some more missions coming up, so. The bigger solar panels, we'll need this to go to Jewel and some of the farther away stuff. And the bigger, ah, it's like, it's like I really can't. I mean, we could also start getting into uh, the fission generator, but I almost think I want to grab these tanks because we can do. Ah, it's more, ah, it's so it's so difficult to to make a decision on this right now. Uh, we got these awesome couplers that uh, I could grab. I definitely know I don't want that yet, or that. We do have wheels already. We do have that. I'm thinking I'm going to buy this stuff because we can start doing other stuff. So now I'm pretty much out. I could, I could, if I had another 20 points or so, we could buy another one, but we don't. So we got, we got quite a good amount of science from that. So what I do want to upgrade is I want to get my vehicle assembly building upgraded. So that's going to cost me quite a bit. So now uh, the launch pad is not completely upgraded. Let's just do that too. 
So the launch pad is completely upgraded and the vehicle assembly is completely upgraded. The tracking station, we'll have to upgrade that eventually, especially if we want. Uh, I don't think this would actually reach Jewel, but I'm not too worried about that right now. The research, we're going to need the almost 2 million to upgrade that. It's actually 16, 1.6 million. The astronaut complex, complex isn't that big of a deal. And uh, I don't want to do that yet. So yeah, we, we got some upgrades done in this video and we got to, we got, we got to the moon of, um, what was it? Gilly. And we got to Eve. So there you go. It's another mission done. Another, another successful mission for our probe space agency, which is pretty good. So guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next episode. This is Malkuth1974. Out of here.